guys, welcome to The Maths Man, back with my latest video. And today we're going to be looking at how to work out the volume of a cube and cuboids. So first of all, we need to figure out what volume is. So volume, it's the maths word. And basically, what it means is, is the amount of space a shape takes up. So if you look at my example down here on the screen, you can see that in this shape here, it has 24 of these cubes. And that means that the volume of this cuboid here would be 24 centimeters cubed. Now that cube is very important. Just like in area, when we use squared, in volume, we use cubed, so 24 cubed. And that is very important to remember when writing your answer. So, what is a cube? Well, a cube is a 3D shape. It has symmet it's, it's symmetrical and it has six square faces. And look, a Rubik's cube. That's probably the most famous type of cube you'll know. So what's a cuboid? Well, a cuboid is also a 3D shape and that has six rectangular faces. And here's a very stretched Rubik's Cube. So when working out the volume of a cube or cuboid, we need to use this formula. V stands for volume. So volume is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So if you multiply those three numbers together, you will find out the volume of a shape. So let's use that formula and put it to the test. So here I have a Rubik's cube and I can see that the length is three. I can see that the width is three. And I can see that the height of the cube is three. So if I multiply three and three together, I get nine. And then if I multiply nine by three, I get 27 cubed. Now let's take a look at an example with a cuboid. So the width is three. The length is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the height is one, two, three. Now, it doesn't actually matter which order you um, multiply the length, width and height. Um, you'll still always get the same answer. So don't worry about making that mistake. So now I've done this, let's work out what the answer would be. So 3 times 7, that's 21. And then 21 multiplied by 3 gives me 63 cubed. Now I'm going to leave the video with this problem for you and basically what you have to do is you have to calculate the total area of this piece of land and I would like you to notice that the land is in kilometers and I'll give you a little tip here to work out the volume of this total area of land you must add this piece of land and this piece of land together to get your answer. So see if you can do that. And if you do work that out and you have an answer, then write it in the comments below and I'll check it for you. Um, happy, ma happy maths working with that. And I'll see you in the next video.